Let's talk about a tool that could literally save your next recording, especially if you're working with a built-in phone microphone or recording in a really noisy environment. It's called Adobe Podcasts, and they have a tool called Enhance Speech, and it's one of the most impressive audio cleanup tools I've ever used. Now, I know there's a lot of hype around AI and audio these days, and most of the time it's really hit or miss, but this is one of the rare cases where the results actually speak for themselves. Adobe's Enhance tool is designed to take any voice recording, even if it's full of background noise or echo, and it polishes that sound up to sound like you're speaking into one of these microphones like the Shure SM7B, something in a treated studio, and it really does work. So I tested this out with a raw voice memo recorded just on my iPhone's built-in mic. No external audio interface, no fancy preamps, no editing, just raw phone audio. I uploaded it to Adobe Enhance, waited for it to process, and the results were honestly shocking. It cleaned up the noise, boosted the voice, and made it sound like I recorded it in my studio. I didn't have to add any EQ, compression, or plugins. It was just one click. And that's what makes this tool so powerful. It's not just another noise remover. It's a complete voice enhancement engine that uses AI to rebuild your voice in a cleaner, fuller, more present way. And for podcasters, musicians, content creators, or anyone who just needs better audio quickly, this is definitely a game changer. So here I want to do a quick before and after. Remember, the first audio you're hearing is me sitting at this desk with my iPhone 11 on the Voice Memo app. Then you'll hear what Adobe can do. Hey, this is Chris Green. I'm sitting at my desk in my studio. I've got my iPhone down in front of me, and I'm just recording on the Voice Memo app to hear what Adobe Podcasts can do. I'm going to turn my head to the side. Now I'm facing the back of the room, so the clarity should not be as high. Let's hear what it sounds like with it on. Hey, this is Chris Green. I'm sitting at my desk in my studio. I've got my iPhone down in front of me, and I'm just recording on the Voice Memo app to hear what Adobe Podcasts can do. I'm going to turn my head to the side. Now I'm facing the back of the room, so the clarity should not be as high. Let's hear what it sounds like with it on. Now here's the best part. You can try it completely free. Adobe gives you an hour of processing per day with no cost. That means you can test it on your own recordings today and see what it does. But there are a few limits with the free version. You can only upload one file at a time, and it can't be longer than 30 minutes or over 500 megabytes. But if you upgrade to like the $10 a month plan, you can unlock a bunch of pro features that honestly make the tool even better. My favorite is the Enhancement Strength Slider. Sometimes when you apply full strength AI to a recording, it can sound a little robotic. Maybe the voice loses some character or it gets slightly like a synthetic vibe. That's pretty common with any kind of AI audio processing. It's not a bug, it's just a thing that AI does when it's trying to clean stuff up. But with the paid for version, you can actually dial back the intensity of that effect. That means if your original recording wasn't terrible, just a little noisy or dull, you can enhance it just enough to give it clarity without making it sound artificial. That's a really nice level of control that most other one-click tools don't give you. And the interface is incredibly easy to use. You literally just drag in your file, let it upload, and then Adobe will take care of the rest. Once the enhancement is finished, you can A-B test it, meaning you can preview your original audio and then the enhanced versions side by side to compare. You can also download the final result as a WAV file and bring it straight into your DAW, podcast editor or video timeline. And it's that simple. Now for musicians or producers watching this, I know what you might be thinking, can this be used for vocals? And the answer is kind of. If you were in a pinch and had to slap something together, I would definitely take advantage of the free version of the Adobe Voice Enhancement. It can remove a lot of background noise and it's much better than just leaving raw audio tracks like they are, especially if it came from your iPhone. However, I noticed that a few times with the AI, it struggled when I was singing something with pitch. Sometimes the audio would cut out or it lost a lot of those high-end frequencies and clarity. It's certainly possible to feed a singer's vocal through the program, but it's not going to be as musical as if you did something with plugins or AI that was specific to singing music or vocals where you're singing. And of course, for spoken word content like this video, YouTube voiceovers, interviews, courses, even live streams, this tool is a lifesaver. So let's say your microphone cable, it came loose halfway through your podcast episode and the fallback mic was your laptop or your onboard camera mic. Or you recorded something in a hotel room with really bad acoustics. Or you forgot to run your normal noise gate and only realized it after recording. Well, with Adobe Enhancement, part of Adobe Podcast, 
You can clean that up, still publish it with confidence. No need to scrap the take or re-record. It's like an insurance policy for your audio, as long as you have some sort of backup audio recording. Now, one thing I'll say, if your original recording is already pristine, this probably won't improve it that much. In fact, if you push the AI too hard on clean audio, it can maybe introduce a little bit of that unnatural robotic tone, which many people have noticed. So this isn't meant to replace like good mic technique or clean gain staging, but when you need to recover something that would otherwise be unusable, or if you're working with less than ideal conditions, this tool is absolutely worth having in your toolkit. And again, you don't need to take my word for it. You can try it today completely free. I've got a link in the description of this video that'll take you straight to the enhancement page of Adobe's site or Adobe Podcast. Just drag in a voice recording, let it process, and give it a listen. If you like what you hear and want more control, or you want to process longer or multiple files at once, then the $10 a month plan is well worth it. Personally, I found it to be one of the most helpful tools when working outside of my normal studio setup. It's just nice knowing that if something goes wrong, if the mic clips or the room's too noisy, if the take was done on a phone, I still have a backup plan that doesn't involve hours of manual repair. So if you're someone who records content, teaches online, mixes podcasts, or just wants a cleaner sounding vocal without diving into all the audio jargon, check out Adobe Enhance using the link below. It's one of those rare tools that does exactly what it promises, and it can make your work sound a whole lot more professional with almost no effort.